Welcome back to Let's Play Nice Guy in Dragon Age Origins. If you were able to read what it said on the previous screen, you'd have got a quick re recap of where we were. Um, having gotten the vials of dark spawn blood in preparation for the joining ritual. Um, however, before he spoke to J uh, Duncan, as I promised, I will in this episode. Uh, we're first going to talk to the kennel master over here. The Mabari's stable for now, but not improving. Unless I get that herb I told you about, there's not much hope. Well, actually, uh, our prince still without any sh boots. He's looking more and more the hobbit. Did actually <laughs> find some uh, some flowers that he thought might fit the bill. So is this the flower you're looking for? Let me see. Yeah, that's exactly it. Wonderful. Yeah, give me a moment and I'll make this into an ointment. All right. He looks better already. I'm sure he'd thank you himself if he could. <laughs> so, yeah. What's going to happen to him now? Let's give him a day or two to recover. Why not come back after the battle? Perhaps we can see about imprinting him on you. Uh, imprinting? You think that's even possible? I'm a dwarf, you know. Maybe. It's likely he understands you're responsible for curing him. Mabari are at least as smart as your average tax collector. Come back after the battle and just... Or take another look. Right. Awesome. Now, it's decidedly... I mean, we've, we've healed one sick puppy, or, well... It's not a puppy, it's a war dog, but... Healed one sick duck now... Dog, now it's time to talk to Duncan. So you returned from the wilds. Have you been successful? Well, if by successful you mean having collected darkspawn blood and stuff, then and also those treaties you were looking for, then yeah. Good. I've had the Circle Mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the joining immediately. All right, so now will you maybe tell us what this ritual is all about? Um, we might actually share some information about Morrigan and her mother as well. There was a woman at the tower and her mother had the scrolls. They were both very odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the Chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but Chantry business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. So, yeah. Time for you to tell us what this ritual is all about, I think. I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now, rather than later. What are you talking about? Are you saying this ritual can kill us? As could any darkspawn you might face in battle. You would not have been chosen, however, if I did not think you had a chance to survive. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Okay, Alistair, uh... take them to the old temple. Alistair's not quite as, as keen as those two others on... on some odd ritual. I mean, he's, he's completely used to fighting Darkspawn. The less I like it. Yeah, Are me too. Again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Uh, I don't know. I'd, uh, yeah. Um, I don't like this any more than you do, actually. I only know that my wife is in Hyover with a child on the way. If they had warned me, I... it just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they'd warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The Wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us? I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the Blight. Well... The thing is, uh, Edelstan still doesn't know what the ritual is really all about, except that it's sort of dangerous. So... I mean, he's willing to risk things to be able to fight the dark spawn, but still, yeah, still doesn't know what it's all about. So, I 
I guess you do make a good point. You saw those darkspawns tonight. Wouldn't you die to protect your pretty wife from them? I am... Maybe you'll die. Maybe we'll all die. If nobody stops the darkspawn, we'll die for sure. I've just never faced a foe. I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of Darkspawn blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? Yuck. As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Eh? Uh? Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the Darkspawn and use it to slay the Archdemon. And if like like one of us were not very sure about this, I mean drinking Darkspawn blood would, would sort of that is really disgusting to, to Aelstan. I mean he's drinking the blood of his ancient f yeah, that's Okay, you said something about this Using this to slay the Archdemon, which makes sense. Other than that, don't quite see the point of it. Um, and you said those who survive? You mean the Darkspawn blood is sort of dangerous to drink or whatever? Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining. But these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. And should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten. And that one day, we shall join you. Davith, step forward. Okay, so... That's a bit gross. Knowing what's in that, but... So far, so good. Or not. Oh, that doesn't look good at all, actually. Make his breath. Nope. That is does not I look am good. Sorry, Davith. What? D d d could you do something? He's step forward, Jory. Oh my gosh, he just. But I have a wife, a child. Had I known, there is no turning back. But you didn't know. No. You asked too much. There is no glory in this. What's the point of... Hey, hey, Duncan, what are you... Okay. I am sorry. Well, that fat lot of good, that's going to do him. You killer. The joining is not yet complete. You are called upon to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. Okay, so Edelstan is shocked into drinking this, this? Got him. Forth, you are a Grey Warden. Um, well, so far, two out of three have died. Doesn't look very good. Woohoo! Yikes! It is finished. Welcome. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? <laughs> well, this is certainly what Aidenstein is thinking. He still can't believe he killed Sajori. I mean... I...
Definitely nothing you said prepared any of us for that, and then you went on to kill it, killed him? Jory was warned that there was no turning back, as were you all. When he went for his blade, however, he left me no choice. It brought me no pleasure to end his life. The Blight demands sacrifices from us all. Thankfully, you stand here as proof. They are not all made in vain. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spawn, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in a pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. <laughs> okay, so... Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the King. I'm definitely still in shock. I mean, he's not even going to try to hide it. He's just too shocked to to play his sort of normal game of politics. He's yeah, he's shocked. I'm I'm just in shock. Death is never easy to accept, especially when it arrives in such a brutal fashion. Honor your comrades if you wish, but know that we must press forward. Always we must press forward. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. <laughs> Bah. That was that was that was uncalled for, Duncan. Seriously, it. Adelstone's a pacifist. He does not, in any way, shape, or form, agree with what Duncan did there. Um. I mean. Even just consider. Okay, so I mean, yes. <sighs> Edelstein would have liked to know more about why the hell that that blood drinking was necessary. You said something about it. You know, you can sense the dark spawn. Yeah, Alistair boasted about that. Didn't seem to do us much good when those rogues were about. So that bloody taint of yours didn't work, you nutter. I also said something about killing the archdemon with it. Don't know what that's all about. Either way, um, seems to Edelstan sort of just in shock, running around himself. That yeah, that was unnecessary. I mean, if I mean, if if two out of three people going through this ritual die, it's like that's just. I mean, is that worth it? Just to join? Just to join the Wardens? You could kill off two out of three? I mean, that's... Can they have, like, some sort of... I mean, if it's... Can they have this, like, some kind of junior membership for people who... who, who, who fight for the Grey Wardens without... Now nope, that just seemed uncalled for. Not that they do, not that Edelstein could do anything at all about it, obviously. Except, I suppose, level up. This has been a shocking set of experiences for him. It's certainly it ha he has become more in experienced, no doubt about that. Um, it's obviously also become more experienced um, in fighting. Considering as he did all that dark spawn fighting. Uh, what level is he, by the way? He's at level four now, so he can actually pick le next level of stealth, which only requires a cunning of fourteen. Actually, eventually, it's going to need twenty-two, but eighteen. But that's in a long while. Um, um, what else? I 
Coercion definitely is his kind of skill. And stealth. And I don't really know what else. I mean, maybe. Right, he doesn't have the combat training to pick any of the high level. He can go dual striking, I suppose. But I don't really like that one because it doesn't afflict regular critical hits or backstabs. Combat movement would be useful, I suppose. Maybe blow the belt. I think, anyway. Not with combat movement. More easily outmaneuver opponents, granting a wider fly flanking angle. Makes backstabs easier to achieve. Well, that's still not exactly his speciality, though, is it? Um, imposing penalties of defense and movement speed. Uh, slowing them down, that could always be nice. I think essentially he's going to be a high level, he's going to max out his sort of rogue talents. Um, make sure he can defeat, you know, remove traps and stuff. It's also an, a way for him to gain experience, I suppose. And then it's his attributes. I think all the fighting has probably made him stronger. Um, by the way, does he need to actually... Oh! He's picked up... Oh, we must have gotten this stuff off of the dead people. Because he didn't have all this stuff. He had only the scale boots. Which requires 16 strength. So is he going to put on the boots of the... Uh, the people who died... Um, drinking dog's blonde blood. He might, but do you have the weapons as well? Yeah, it looks that way. Alternatively, because it's to put it on to. I could get. proper strength and put on some. Uh, heavier boots. We're gonna need the studded leather gloves anyway. And I think this stuff is. Uh, actually, no, it's. Yeah, no, that's rough, so it's still. Yeah, it's matching. Equipment, so started leather. I think this is better than what he had as well. This is more typical rogue stuff, anyway. And then I suppose he could focus on. I mean, what what, what has he learnt really? He's definitely become stronger. There's no doubt about that. All the fighting, he's. Probably. I mean, he didn't s quite see the Duncan stuff. Duncan's idea. Um, it's not like he needs any more cunning right now. Um, but if I put one point into it. And then he's probably gotten, he's probably, yeah, he survived the, the taint, he's probably gotten better constitution. Alternatively, I could just put everything into strength. That way he'd be able to wear that heavy stuff. I'm not really sure in this game whether heavier armor really, I mean, I know it impacts on your skills, your stamina stuff. I don't know if it impacts on your... Abilities, like your, you know, like your, your, your ability to go stealthily, but it would seem logical for that to, for leather to be better for being stealthy than, than sort of scale mail and chain mail and stuff like that. So I 
think is going to stick with the, le the leather stuff, and then uh, I'll go with what seems logical, which is going to get... It's got a bit stronger. It's got a bit, a bit healthier. And... He's prob Has he gotten smarter or more cunning out of this? I think so. And uh, so I'm I'm not leveling for for power leveling. I'm, I'm trying to level for what a li little bit sometimes what I might need, but a, a lot of it would be sort of just what Edelstein logically have learnt from what he's gone through, and I think this is more or less it. So. Uh, and I think that's definitely enough for this video as well. And uh, I suppose what's on our oh, you've survived the joining. The next thing is to join Dunk at the strategy meeting because I mean we already talked to the the camel master. So next thing is to talk to the king and Edelstone's not ready to do that yet. Um, frankly, right now, he's probably contemplating just sneaking off into the Cockery Wilds and leaving the Grey Wardens and all these other nut nutters behind. Except he can't leave, so <laughs> that's not going to happen. Oh well. Not much for him to do then, and all he's gonna sweat it out and wander and try and deal with the shock for a while, and then we'll be back for a later video. Um, until then, uh, go in peace and uh, live and let live.